All right, we are going to paint a fall tree, but we're not just gonna paint one, we're gonna paint two. So it's gonna be a reflection of our tree. Let's do it. Okay, so first thing is we're gonna write our name and our class code on the back of our paper, just like we always do. We're gonna turn it over, so our name's on the back. Then we're gonna fold our paper in half so that our fold line is closest to us. So we're gonna take the bottom of our piece of paper and fold it up to the top. If you do this correctly, you might be able to see your name now on the outside, okay? That means our name is on the outside of our paper not the inside, okay? So now that I've got a fold line in the middle of my piece of paper, here's the middle of my paper, I'm gonna get something that looks like this. It looks like a glue stick, but it's not. It's actually called a paint stick, or a quick stick is um, a pretty known brand. And inside it looks like this. This is paint, okay? And it's really fun because we can actually draw pretty easily with our paint and it dries fairly quickly. So what we're gonna do is on our fold line, we're gonna color our fold line with our green quick stick to make it look like the grass for our fall tree picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color on my fold line. I'm gonna color a little bit above it and a little bit below it. And I'm gonna color all the way across my paper. Be careful not to touch the part that you've already colored because it needs a little bit of time to dry. Okay, there we go. We're going across, wonderful. All right, this is my grass where my tree is gonna hang out. Okay, so got that there. Then I'm gonna take my quick stick and before I close it, see how some of it is sticking up? I'm gonna turn the bottom so that it goes back inside, okay? All right, I'm gonna put my lid on, make sure it snaps. There we go. Okay, while that's drying for a few seconds, I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do. So I have here, a paint tray and it has four colors. Brown is going to be for my tree trunk and then I have my warm colors which are red, orange, and yellow. These are the warm colors and a lot of times these are the colors that you see when trees start changing color. So we're going to use these. The way that we're going to be painting today is we're going to use our paintbrush but we're going to paint thick. This is called impasto painting. It's not done with pasta, and it's not impossible. It's called impasto painting. And impasto painting is where you paint thick. So let me show you how we're gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna start with my brown, and I'm gonna paint my tree trunk. There's my grass. I'm gonna paint my tree, my tree trunk right up here. And I'm gonna take my paintbrush with brown paint, and right here in the middle, I'm gonna paint my tree trunk and I want to have a thick layer of paint so I'm not gonna completely smear everything out. I wanna have a nice thick layer and I'm gonna make my tree trunk fan out a little bit. Okay, just like so. Get a little bit more paint. I wanna make sure that I have a thick layer of paint, okay? But I don't want it to be like big globs of paint because when I fold this in half, here in a second, if I have big globs of paint, I'm gonna lose the shape of my tree because when I press my paper together, all my blobs are gonna mush out, okay? So I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna fold it in half on my fold line and I'm going to press and just give it a little bit of a back rub. That's all I gotta do. Just a little bit of a back rub, okay? Now I'm gonna take my paper and unfold. Now I have my tree trunk I painted and I also have the reflection. Now you'll notice that my reflection is not perfect. That's what I want. 
because a lot of times when you see a reflection of something in the water, is it perfect? No, not usually. So we've got our tree trunk reflection and our tree trunk. Now we're gonna take our paintbrush and we're gonna rinse it out. And when you rinse out your brush, rub the bristles on the bottom of your paint cup gently. And then I'm going to wipe my bristles on the edge of my paint cup. Take my paper towel and dry it off. We never wanna put water into this type of paint. This is not watercolor paint, so it doesn't need the water to work, okay? Next, we're gonna paint our tree, our fall tree with our warm colors. And I'm gonna start with yellow, okay? And I'm gonna take my paint and I'm going to paint thick, okay? And I'm just kind of dabbing it on, but I'm trying to put it into the shape of a tree, okay? It's okay if it goes a little over your brown, but don't do too much because then your colors will start mixing together. Okay, I wanna make sure I've got thick layers of paint, but I don't wanna have any giant blobs. It's okay if you have a few smaller blobs, but we don't need anything giant, okay? I think I've got a pretty good tree shape. I've got some blobs of paint. My paint is still wet. It's not dry because if my paint is too dry, when I fold it in half and go to rub, nothing's going to happen if my paint's too dry. So I have to make sure that my paint is wet and I work kind of quick. All right, we're going to fold our paper in half again. And I'm going to give a back rub again, but I'm going to do it more up here to the top of my piece of paper, not quite at the fold line. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little back rub and then I'm gonna unfold it. Now you wanna unfold it, don't leave it folded until we're ready for the next color. Because if you leave it folded, your paint is gonna dry and then it's gonna stick together. Oh, there we go. There's our beautiful yellow on our tree and then our reflection. Excellent. All right, let's go rinse our brush. Rub those bristles on the bottom. Gently, careful not to splash. Wipe off our bristles and dry off our paintbrush, okay? Next color we're gonna do is some red. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna dip it in red, and I don't have to fill in the whole space again with my red. I might do just a few, because if I cover the whole thing in red, I'm gonna lose my yellow, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna do just a few. I still want my yellow to be seen, okay? Now we're gonna fold it in half again. Give a light back rub, like so, and unfold. Excellent, there's our red and our yellow, and there's our reflection, awesome. What's our last color that we're gonna use? Our orange, okay, so let's rinse our brush off gently wipe off the water, dry off our paintbrush. Okay, now we're ready for some orange. Okay, and my orange, I'm gonna kind of put still over the yellow, but still on the red. I don't wanna completely cover all of my colors though, remember? Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of my orange, okay. I am happy with that. I'm gonna fold it in half again. Give it a back rub. You're gonna notice your paper is gonna start to feel a little thin and wet. That's okay. We just gotta be careful that we don't rub too hard. Okay, there's my back rub. Going to pull apart. And there you have it. There is our fall tree and our reflection.